गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन क्लास टेन सब्जेक्ट साइंस यूनिट थ्री इनर्जी शक्ति और ऊर्जा क्वेश्चन नंबर वन राइट ऑलबर्ट आइंस्टाइंस मास इनर्जी रिलेशन और थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी सापेक्ष बात को सिद्धांत ऑलबर्ट आइंस्टाइन इज अ ग्रेट जर्मन साइंटिस्ट इज वेरी पॉपुलर इज मास मास इनर्जी रिलेशन और थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी इज ई इक्वल एम सी स्क्वायर वर्ड ई इनर्जी रिलीज ड्यूरिंग न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस टू टाइप्स आर न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन एंड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूशन एम मास ऑफ द रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस डिकेट ड्यूरिंग न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस मास डिक्रीजेस सी स्पीड ऑफ लाइट वैल्यू थ्री इंटू टेन टू दावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नेम सम अल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेज अफ इनर्जी सम अल्टरनेटिव और इको फ्रेंडली सोर्सेज अफ इनर्जी आर एज फलोज सोलर पावर और सोलर इनर्जी विंड पावर हाइड्रो पावर टाइटल इनर्जी एट्सेट्रा जियोथर्मल इनर्जी एटोमिक इनर्जी और न्यूक्लियर इनर्जी एट्सेट्रा and if you have to write the advantages of alternative sources of energy you can write they are easy and quick to use they are eco friendly means they cause no pollution you can easily write down the advantages is the fayda question number 3 classify energy with two examples or how many types of energy are there there are two type mainly two types of energy number a renewable sources that means we can make again and again example solar energy tide or water wind hydro power etc non renewable sources which cause pollution and it takes more time or millions of years to reform coal petroleum firewood animal dung etc cause pollution <coughs> hi class 10 class 10 subject science unit 3 energy shakti urja question number 4 define energy conservation or protection and energy crisis right advantages of alternative sources of energy the act of saving or protecting or conserving energy or using alternative sources of energy wisely is called energy conservation shakti sanchay garne tarika ramro sanga prayog garera the scarcity or lack means abhav the scarcity or lack of energy due to overuse by industrialization over industrialization urbanization deforestation etc is called energy crisis the alternative sources are useful or the advantages of alternative sources of energy are as follows number 1 they are easy and quick to use they are renewable means we can make them again and again number 3 they don't cause pollution means eco friendly example water wind tide solar power atomic energy geothermal energy etc question number 5 mention advantages or uses of fossil fuels they are as follows means fossil fuels are very useful for the following reasons number 1 they are easy to use and cheap to buy at first <laughs> number 2 they give more heat especially in factories industries more heat is necessary although they cause pollution but they are very useful because they give more heat they are easy to use they are cheap to make etc number 3 they are portable and abundant means portable means they can be carried from one place to another easily on vehicles 
abundant means they are found in large quantities inside the earth's crust so we can use them properly in a large quantity question number 6 differentiate or distinguish between the following a renewable and non renewable sources renewable sources they don't get depleted but can be reformed number 2 they are regenerated by the natural process they are eco friendly that means they cause no pollution example solar power tide wind hydro power geothermal energy atomic or nuclear energy non renewable sources i they get depleted but can't be reformed chaade sakinchha ra banna pani dherai bhai lagcha that means take a long period to be reformed number 2 they may get used up after a long period of time they cause pollution example petroleum products like kerosene mobile diesel grease etc coal firewood animal dung grass etc question number 6 differentiate between them b nuclear fusion and nuclear fission nuclear fusion here two or more smaller nuclei combine to form a big nucleus i a big nucleus is broken into two or more smaller nuclei yesma dui wa dui banda badi sana sana nucleus haru combine bhayera thulo bancha yesma thulo nucleus chai sano sano ma dui wa dui banda badi sana nucleus ma tukincha number 2 more energy is produced it is difficult to control here less energy is produced and can be controlled number example nuclear reactions in the sun which cannot be controlled by human beings here nuclear reactions at the nuclear stations which can be controlled question number 7 how can energy crisis be controlled energy crisis can be controlled by the following ways by controlling population deforestation industrialization and urbanization because they cause energy crisis they are the cause and we can control them jile garda energy crisis huncha tela hatauni number 2 using sources wisely if sources are not properly used there is energy crisis so we have to use energy sources wisely and properly and we have to think for future generation number 3 by developing new alternative sources for example hydro power wind power geothermal atomic or nuclear energy solar power etc and we can develop solar power stations wind power stations hydro power stations in rural areas